My name is Amanda Trainer. I am currently working at a financial institution as a customer service representative. What I would like to do is I would like to move up to um, a supervisor position. Once I complete my degree, um, I'll probably still I'll probably still work there. Um, but basically, I would like to to try to transition into audio production. Well, I'm interested in um, taking audio production at a university. I'm going to take the certification course, and um, that way it'll kind of it'll be a lot quicker to get into the field. And I'll I'll know everything I really need to know, and um, I'll have the gear to do so. And, um, so that's that's what one of my goals is is to um, to start and finish my degree in audio production. Well, some of my goals once I complete my degree is to start a production company with my husband. Um, he's in film school. I'll be doing audio, so put those two together and we can make an awesome production company. So we're putting together ideas now for when we both complete our degrees. Um, so that way we can start our own company and basically, um, you know, just kind of put both of our skill sets together to be one big company to where people can go to have their their filming done and have their audio done basically where I see myself in 10 years uh, would probably uh, well probably as a uh, as a homeowner um, with kids our production company started um, successful and just working toward building a life for our kids and uh, different things like that. Um, I currently live in Cleveland, Tennessee, and um, it's a beautiful place that I've lived my whole life. It's right next to the Ocoee, which is actually where we're at now. Um, I really love it here because it's so close to the rivers, um, so close to all of the beautiful scenery and everything like that. And uh, Cleveland itself is actually a beautiful place. Um, it's actually pretty safe comparatively and so um, it's a really nice place to live um, I do I do think that um, I would like to move in the future um, just to have a little bit of a change of scenery um, I'm really I've really considered um, Co Colorado and um, just different places like that with beautiful beautiful open space um, clean air um, I love to be outdoors, and um, so that's something that I am really interested in doing in the future is probably moving to Colorado or somewhere somewhere like that. Um, really, it, the, the hardest thing is just deciding where you want to go. Um, so, but that's, that's in the future, so um, it's not anything immediate, so we've got time to think about that. <laughs> I have so many influences actually for audio production. Um, some of the people I love are Prince. I love Prince, and I'm so um, so sad that he passed away. That he was a really big influence. Everything he ever did uh, was gold. And um, I love Mary J. Blige, and um, she's another another really big inspiration for me. She um, she always she always talks about the important things. She always. Um, speaks the truth and that's what I want to do with my music that's what I want to do with audio production is make a whole new generation of people who know how to um, to speak the truth to do it in a ple pleasant way but that I mean that really is one of my main goals with my audio production career in the future is to um, is to take take people who have never had a shot give them a shot and let them speak the truth their version of the truth and express themselves um, in the most honest and raw way some of the experiences from my life that have influenced me um, are just starting out from the very beginning I mean I've had rheumatoid arthritis uh, which at the time was juvenile rheumatoid arthritis. I was diagnosed when I was five, but I have I've had it basically all my life. Um, that has made everything a little more difficult. Um, walking, running, anything in general. Um, sometimes when when it um, gets bad, um, sometimes it's hard to walk, 
and I don't get to walk sometimes for periods of time. Um, I've had a, a lot of uh, a lot of health problems just throughout my life in general. Um, a lot of stomach issues and um, issues with weight and just a lot of different things in general. Um, so that has really pushed me to try to be healthier, try to do greatness every day, try to inspire people to, um, to just move past it, to be successful, to be happy in spite of. Um, I've had a lot of emotional experiences in the past um, with people that I love passing away, um, losing friendships, different things. Um, that just every single experience that I've had, I've tried to take all of the negativity, flip it around, and use it for a positive thing um, to just kind of mold the person that I am. And every mistake is not necessarily a mistake. You can let it be a mistake or you can take it and use it as a learning opportunity to, um, to grow and to become a good person, to become stronger, and um, I try to do that every single day with every single experience um, and I think that's that's important for everyone to do is to take something that could be could break you and let it make you I define greatness as being able to touch people being able to inspire them um, change their lives take something small and m make their make their lives better, make their day better. Inspiring with film, um, all different things. Uh, you, can, you can take every little thing, even at your job. If, if you're in customer service, there's a huge opportunity to be inspiring there. Um, when people come up to you, um, take every opportunity to change their day, to make an impact on them, to make them smile, and to take something that you have no idea what they're going through and they could be going through something huge something that you might not even be able to survive yourself but they're standing there in front of you trying to make the best of it and you can take that all that negativity that they're experiencing and turn it into something great um, greatness is is a huge deal being being a great person and impacting people in any way you possibly can take every single opportunity every single day and try to try to help people try to um, be the change that you want to see um, just just try to think of people as exactly what they are they are people and um, it doesn't matter what they look like how they act how they sound um, everybody has the opportunity to make a change in somebody else's life for the better. That's why it's so important to take, um, to take every single moment, every single opportunity that you have to be great. I try to do it with every single moment of my life. If there's a chance for you to be angry, if there's a chance for you to lash out, take that chance and say, no, I'm not going to listen to you. I'm going to be great. I'm going to do the greatness that I want to see. Um, if you have an opportunity to be angry, be kind. If you have an opportunity to be sad, be happy. Make the choice for yourself for greatness. Some of the tools that I think people could use to acquire success, um, one, of the, one of the biggest ones would be hard work, um, of course. <laughs> um, that's, that's your best bet. If you work hard, if you stay focused, um, that's, that's the most that's the, the biggest helper to getting um, getting what you're trying for. Um, don't don't make your life um, all about work, of course, but um, definitely stay focused. Everything you do, even when you're having fun, have it be for the good of the long-term goal. Um, right now, I'm trying to get healthier, so while I'm having fun, some of the things I like to do is I like to go fishing I li or I like to go uh, swimming or um, rock climbing or hiking or, you know, um, any different, any, anything that I can do to have fun while working towards my goals. Um, try to incorporate um, your, your goals into everything you do. Um, 
and I think that's that's really helpful, very important um, to being able to acquire your goals. Stay focused. Think about it. Think about it often. If that's what you truly want, go for it. Um, and don't be afraid to to put forth the work. Don't be afraid to put forth the money. Um, if it's something you truly want, you're never going to work a day of, of your life. Even when you're working, you're not really working. Um, so it's worth putting all of you into. Um, and I would say that are that is some of the uh, the most important tools for success. This is Amanda Trinkner. Thank you for watching my interview video. Have a great day.